everyone, I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we should have a fun one on our hands. It's the 49ers coming in at 2-4, and four, going up against the Cowboys, who come in at 2-3. and three. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd in that way.
for the Cowboys now, working their way back onto the field. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. He'll look to throw. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll look to throw. with a big catch and he takes this one down all the way near the 30 that one goes for 29 yards on third down and with the clock ticking under 50 seconds now he spikes it throw on the right side caught by green four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down it didn't check off every box but the most important one got the clock stopped getting out of bounds it may be a little short of the first down but i thought that was the key back to throw the swing pass caught and he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish him off. The score that puts him in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up could come back at you a long way. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yards. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. to throw. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Montgomery. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Drake. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Well, if you're going to pass on third and one, you better get a first down if you complete it. They completed it, but no gain. The aiming point has to be beyond the first down marker where you throw the ball. Third and one, you can't have anything that's even close to the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you run the risk of what we just saw there, not getting the first down. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Tannehill. He's going to let it fly. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hooking laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone into the final play of this game. They knew that they needed 
some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Dallas, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Washington Redskins. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they dip to two and five now with the loss. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.